Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video, we will see how to run Azure Batch job with Azure CLI. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am inside the portal and we will use the Azure Cloud Shell to do this lab. We will create a resource group, we will create a storage account, we will create a patch account, we will create a pool of compute nodes, we will create a job, we will create task and then we'll see the task status, task output and before ending this session I'll make sure to clean up my resources so that I don't get charged for it. So let me just launch the Azure Cloud Shell. You can launch it from here. Okay. So I will use the advanced settings to create it on my region. It is cloud shell. So I'm going to go for East US just for fun's sake. I'm going to use this in the existing resource group. I'm going to create a new. Batch storage account create a new storage file share create new file share and I click on create storage. Here you see when you will enter the credentials, it will create everything for you and it will say initializing your account for Cloud Shell. You can drag it up here to have a clear view. It says requesting a Cloud Shell. This is the best feature I love about Azure that you can run the Azure Cloud Shell within the Azure portal. It is connecting to the terminal. We are all set. So now I will create the resource group. I will use the AZCLI commands. I will use AZ group create. Name my RG. Then the location would be East US 2. Let's see how it goes. Error unrecognized arguments. Okay. Easy group create. Following arguments in valid minus are required. Okay, I think I'm missing something. I apologize for that. The MyRG. Let's see how it goes. Okay, it is done. Succeeded. I'm sorry about this. I confused myself. No problem. We'll create a storage account now. That will be AZ storage account create. In which resource group would it be? Let me do it again. It would be AZ storage account create resource group would be my RG that I created the name of the storage account would be my storage account and location would be East US 2 in which I created my resource group 
and the SKU, the size parameters, would be standard underscore LRS, locally redundant storage. Oh, I'm sorry. Standard underscore LRS. That is nice. My storage account is already taken. I'll do it. Assert my storage account. The default kind of storage account will change to storage v2. So remember when we create a storage account, we get an option storage v1, storage v2 version. So it says default would be taken as storage v2 in future. Okay, no problem. It is done. Now we will create a batch account using Azure CLI. I will do az batch account create name would be assert b as an assert batch assert batch account storage account would be assert my storage account i should have used in small names that is a hell lot of topping let me see which resource group I created. Forgot the name. Name my RG. Okay. My RG location. As you all guess, it is East US 2. There it goes. The AZ batch account is not in the AZ batch command group. See AZ batch. I'm sorry. I'm doing it in a wrong spelling. Now it will create it. It is done. If you will see what it has done. It has created all these on its own. So now what we'll do is, so to create and manage compute pool and jobs, we need to authenticate with patch. So we will log in. We will log in using the Azure patch, easy patch account login. the name of my batch account I'm sorry I forgot the name again Assert batch account Assert batch account resource group would be my RG now I remember Shared key auth. I'm just specifying the method here to authenticate. Done. So now we will create a pool of compute nodes. Now that we have a batch account, we will create a sample pool of Linux compute nodes using the easy batch pool create command. Now it will create a pool named my pool of two size standard A1v2 nodes running Ubuntu. Uh, 1604 version so now we will do this this is the command az batch pool create id pool vm size target dedicated nodes to image this node agent sku patch node 1604 let's go 
Now we'll, this batch will create the pool immediately, but it takes a few minutes to allocate and start the compute nodes. During this time, the pool is in the resizing state. To see the status of the pool, we can use AZ batch pool show. Then we'll have to mention the batch pool show command. We will mention the pool ID, which is my pool. Then we will query the allocation state. I am sorry, easy, easy patch pool show pool ID would be my pool. We will query the allocation state. It is steady. It is done. Now we will create a job. Now that we have a pool, we will create a job to run on it. A bad job is a logical group for one or more tasks. A job includes settings common to the task, such as priority and the pool to run task on. We will create a bad job by using AZ batch job create. AZ batch job create the command and the ID of my job would be my job. And the pool ID, if you remember, is my pool. Here it is. Done. Now we will create the task. Now that we have the job done, we will create a task using the AZ batch task create. Create command to create some tasks to run in the job. In the in this, we will create four identical tasks. Each task would run a command line to display the batch environment variables on a compute node. So we will do for i in one to four Easy back. Still creating that is why we are not able to show the task for this thing. You can also do this, but we are not able to show the task because it is still creating. So that is how you do this kind of things. The Azure batch task group. Then you can see the status of uh, how is your batch account setting up. So now, as I promised, we should delete all the resources just to save ourselves some money. So we'll use AZ patch, patch, pool, delete. Then you will enter the pool ID. Then you will also you will delete the resource group as well so that everything gets deleted. So I hope you liked this video. I promise to cover more of these in the next videos. If you have time, please join me in the next section. Thank you.